Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for July 21, 2024, featuring a Mars Pleiades conjunction. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.33 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.21 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Two hours before sunrise, the buck moon is less than 15 degrees up in the southwest. Moon is opposite the sun, indicating the precise full moon, at 5.17 a.m. CDT, shortly before sunrise and moonset in the eastern regions of the central time zone. Locations farther westward see the moon higher in the sky. The lunar orb is moving toward a conjunction with Saturn on the 24th. The moon occults or eclipses the planet for sky watchers in southeastern Asia. This morning the gap between them is over 50 degrees. This morning at one hour before sunrise, the ringed wonder is less than halfway up in the southern sky. It retrogrades in front of Aquarius, a dim starfield further affected by the bright moonlight and outdoor lighting. Use a binocular to track the planet's slow progress against the background stars. Jupiter and Mars are in the eastern sky. Less than a month before their conjunction, the red planet closes the gap to the Jovian giant each morning. The planet pair is in front of Taurus distant stars. The vast starfield has many stellar landmarks to track the eastward planet positions. An hour before sunrise, bright Jupiter, the brightest star-like body in this morning's sky, is nearly 25 degrees up in the east and 5.3 degrees to Aldebaran's upper left. The planet is over 12 degrees to the upper left of the bull's horns, Elnath, and Zeta Turi. A Mars-Pleiades conjunction occurs this morning. Mars, nearly 35 degrees up in the east and 12.0 degrees to Jupiter's upper right, passes 4.8 degrees to Alcyone's lower right, the brightest member of the Pleiades star cluster. While the conjunction is wide, they easily fit into the same binocular field. See the chart in the online article. By moving the Pleiades to the upper left edge of the field of view, dim Uranus is in the right edge of the field. It is to the upper right of 13 Tauri and 14 Tauri. The planet is dimmer than 13 Tauri and brighter than 14 Tauri. Orion is beginning to climb across the eastern sky during morning twilight. Blue-white Bellatrix one of the shoulders, is over 7 degrees up in the east. Betelgeuse, to Bellatrix's lower left, is just above the horizon and might be visible through a binocular in a location with a natural horizon and no clouds. Betelgeuse's first appearance or heliacal rising occurs in a few days. Begin looking for it on the 24th when it is 5 degrees above the horizon. Reddish stars tend to blend into the colorful hues of the pre-dawn light and their first appearances occur when they are higher in the sky than bluer stars. In the evening sky. Venus is slowly climbing into the evening sky. Nearly 50 days since its superior conjunction, on the Sun's far side, the planet sets 45 minutes after the Sun. It is still in bright twilight. The planet is visible low in the western sky during bright twilight in about a week. At 40 minutes after sundown and one day before its greatest elongation, speedy Mercury is about 5 degrees up in the west and 3.7 degrees to Regulus lower right, Leo's brightest star. Use a binocular to see them. One way to look for a celestial body during bright twilight is to slowly move the binocular from side to side. The sky's brightness is constant, while the stars and planets move to reflect the binocular's motion. The moon rises less than an hour after nightfall. Two hours later, it is nearly 20 degrees up in the southeast and less than 40 degrees to Saturn's upper right. Tomorrow morning, find them in the southern sky. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.